Succulents are fantastic plants for small and shallow pots. They tolerate being root bound better than any other type of plant. However, looking at longer term, some succulent types will grow better than others. There are also succulents that naturally stay small and grow slow, which makes them better suited to a life in small or shallow pots. In this video, we will name some names and also quickly look at why succulents tend to be better for small pots. I'll do a separate maintenance video soon. The reason is quite simple for the great majority of succulents. Many of these magnificent plants have evolved in harsh environments that put them in a lot of stress. The soil is often of poor quality and it doesn't rain very often. This has led to succulents developing coping mechanisms to survive. Their roots grow shallow to be able to get a drink from the tiniest rain or morning dew dropping to the surface. And when it's been too dry for too long, they will drop many of their most bottom leaves and start growing super slow. The remaining leaves will grow shorter, more stubby and often more colorful. The stalk will also thicken. And this is what happens to many succulents left in small or shallow pots long term. Let me show you a really quick example. This is Echeveria cubic frost growing in a 10 cm or 4 inch pot. In the terracotta, there are another two cubic frost in a 7 cm pot competing for space with other succulents. All three are the same age, but because these ones are in a small pot, they have slowed their growth. They will not get bigger unless I provide them with some nutrients. So now we know what to expect from succulents in small pots, let's have a look at some species and cultivars that will tolerate growing in a tight space. This is Crusula ovata and it's one of the hardiest plants you can grow. There are many mutations and hybrids that used ovata as one of the parents and most are equally hardy. Although these plants are all quite big, the Crusula ovata cultivars will easily grow in small pots without much fuss. Thanks to their ability to tolerate confined root space well, they are also often used as bonsai specimens. These little Crusula ovata golem have been in this tiny tray space for a good year now. They've barely grown but are surviving well. Although not all Echeveria are suitable for small pots as they can be a bit fussy, some will tolerate them well enough. We've seen the amazing cubic frost earlier and I'm just going to list the species and cultivars that have worked well for me personally. You can pause to read. There's also a few naturally small growing Echeveria that have rosettes to about 5 to 7 cm, which is about 2 to 3 inches. Echeveria minima is one of my favorites. The heads are pretty small and it will form clusters. This blue beauty is called Echeveria setosa variety diminuta. It usually doesn't grow over 7 cm, though clusters can measure slightly larger. Echeveria derenbergi is a lovely small succulent. It can grow a bit taller, but the rosettes are still small. If you like those red tips against dark green, Echeveria shamrock is a great choice. It grows fairly slow and creates clumps of little rosettes. Graptopetalum are some of my absolute favorites to grow in small pots. They will put up with a lot of stress. This plant is called Graptopetalum mendozae and the small chubby rosettes are just perfect in little pots. Many of you will recognize this ghosty, Graptopetalum paraguayans. They can grow pretty big but tolerate small spaces really well. If you want to grow succulents in small pots indoors, most gasteria do not grow very big, especially when inside. They are the perfect succulent for a bright shade inside or out. Hawothia also mostly grow small and are shade tolerant which makes them good indoor plants. There's quite a few shapes and patterns to choose from. And we can't of course forget lithops. These bizarre but interesting succulents can fit in the tiniest of pots. 
they grow super slow and only to about 4 cm or 1.5 inches. Sedum is a very varied genus and many of these species and cultivars are not suitable for small pots at all. They are usually the small leaf varieties such as this acre. But then there are these awesome sedum species that seem to be able to live through almost anything. Case in point, sedum rotinctum aka red jelly beans. Jelly beans is a popular succulent due to the amazing color and its hardiness. It will live in small and shallow pots without breaking a sweat. And most sedum with bigger and chunkier leaves are like this. They also spread well and look fantastic in pots. I'm going to lump all these hybrids in together and name my favorite ones. In my experience, the hybrids of plants from Echeveria, Graptopetalum and Sedum genera make some of the best succulents for small and shallow pots. They are mostly incredibly hardy and deal well with being root-bound. This is Sedaviria starburst aka Grapto Sedum Francesco Baldi. It's pretty, colorful and will do extremely well in small and shallow pots. Here are some of its leaf babies that are about a year old. They are this small as I've never repotted them, but they still look lovely. Sedevria Mayalan is another one of my favorites. This particular clump is so colorful and compact because I've kept them in a small pot. There's not been any new growth, but that's fine as the whole cluster looks gorgeous as is. Here it is again with another sediviria I like to use in small or shallow pots. This one is called the pink granite and its cute rosettes change to lovely colors when kept in small pots. Again, very hardy and tolerant of harsh conditions including very limited root space. If you have a few succulents, you'll probably be familiar with Graptoviria fred ives. This hybrid can grow massive bud cobs really well in small pots, and the color is a very pretty pink. Here it is in a bigger pot. It's a super versatile succulent and perfect for beginners. And we'll finish off the hybrids with Grapto Sedum Vera Higgins. Just like all the others, hardy and a great candidate for small and shallow pots. And last but not least, Cacti. These spiky succulents are perhaps one of the best choices when planting out small and shallow pots. They grow slow and many don't get very big. And surprisingly cacti will tolerate being grown indoors on a sunny windowsill. However, they may not bloom if there's not enough sun coming through. There's loads of different cactus genera but my favorites are Mammillaria and Rebutia. They are quite common, stay small and grow slow, which makes them perfect for little pots. As mentioned at the beginning, I'm going to make a separate video that will look at how to care for succulents in small and shallow pots, as there's quite a bit of info to get through. If you have a favorite succulent that does well in small and shallow pots, please share with us in the comments. And that is all for today. I hope this video was useful and if you'd like to ask anything, you can do so in the comments below. To learn more about succulents, hit the subscribe button or go to succulentgrowingtips.com. Thank you so very much for watching.